What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video we're going to be creating our first campaign and first ad in ad groups, Google, uh, sorry, Google AdWords. <laughs> and we'll be using our kind of same funnel we've been working on in the past few months, which was the diabetes, diabetes loophole, a random product we picked off Clickbank. All right, so I'm going to assume that you've already uh, created your Google AdWords account. You literally go to Google AdWords like that, type that in Google, uh, find something like this, uh, and just say start now. And you can sign in, all right? And then after you do that, you should be taken to something like this. And we need to create our first campaign. So there's going to be three different levels. We have the campaign, we have the ad group, and we have the ad. And what's the difference between them? Why is there so many? Well, there's many different features that you can put into each one. So for example, there's the demographics, there's the different um, age groups, the genders, the different keywords you can input, okay? All that, and we need to be able to separate it. So that's why we have these three actually hierarchies, right? So we have the campaign, we have the ad group, and then we have the ads. And you can have many campaigns, you can have many ad groups within each campaign, you can have many ads within each ad group. So the main difference between the ad groups is that they have different keywords, and that's what we'll be separating our ad groups with. And for campaign, the main difference is actually everything. So demographics, again, age, gender, time, location, everything like that. That is something you can change in campaign settings. So if we have a campaign for, or if we're selling, for example, different products, it will be best to have different campaigns for that, okay? So we're going to create our first campaign. We're selling here uh, this diabetes loophole product. I don't know anything about diabetes, by the way, okay? So don't expect too much out of me, but I'll guide you through the process and what kind of we should be looking for. So first of all, um, when we first create our first campaign, we need to kind of figure out what we want to do. So we have different options here. So one is we have search network with display. So let me go over this first. So search network. Search network is basically Google search and their partners, whatever they are, basically places where people can type in what they're looking for, such as in google.com, you type in whatever you're looking for, your ad will be displayed after eight people type in a certain keyword. So whatever keywords we input, that's going to trigger that ad, right? Uh, display is not search. So display, your ad will be put on certain websites. So you can't really target people who type in certain keywords. They will be put on certain websites and the ads will show up there. So that's display. So you will have a much higher reach but it won't be as specific, won't be as tailored. You won't be able to reach as many um, uh, as as many powerful conversions, at least in my experience, right? Because you don't have as much control as you would with, say, search when you put in the keywords. So uh, search network with display, that's both. So maybe what we can do is we can create three campaigns for our one product. We can create one with both, one with search, and one with only display and see which one works better, okay? Then these guys, they're basically like if you have stores or uh, if you want to create a video, these ones aren't as important as these three. So let's do let's do the first one here. That's going to be our first campaign. We can name it. So maybe we're selling, you know, diabetes loophole. And let's let's create. So we need to name because later on it's going to get really messy, right? So we should probably start naming our campaigns and ad groups and everything to whatever it is related that we're doing. So in this case, maybe we want to target every single country in the world in this campaign. Or in this campaign, we want to target only the US and Canada, for example. So we can maybe say US slash Can, right? Or CAD, whatever it is. So let's say that. Um, because later on, when we make different campaigns, maybe testing out different geographical areas, we'd want to name them that so we can differentiate, right? So let's let's make this our target US and Canada for now. Uh, I would recommend going with all features. Don't uh, changes you've made will be lost. Yes, that's fine. Let's go with all features. Uh, standard is is kind of the simpler way. So if you select standard, you won't get as many options as you would with all features. So let's select all features. It will give us some more options to play around with more customizations. Um, so we have that. Yeah, we have search and we have display devices. So we can we can play around with this later on. I will show you how we can reduce the the bids for different um, for different uh, mobile devices, right? Or for different devices. 
And here we need to select the country. So as we've determined, we want our campaign to be set in United States and Canada. So let's say, let me choose, and we need to type in United States. And it doesn't have to be by country. You can make it by city, by state, by province, whatever you want. So let's say by country here. So we're going to add that. Let's say Canada, and we're going to add that. Okay, location settings advanced. So this, by the way, I think this would not have been available without this all features available, either that or, or something else. Um, but that's why you see it is important to have this because this part is actually really important. So what this part tells you is uh, people in searching in or who show interest in my targeted location. It says recommended. I would not recommend it at all. Um, so let us let me start off with this one first. People in my targeted location. So what this means is that people that are in the United States or people that are in Canada only, they will see your ads, nobody else. If you select this one, people searching for my targeted location, then people who are saying, diabetes loophole America, and that person may be located in, in uh, Africa, they will still see your ad. But we don't want to target people that live in Africa. We want to target people who live in the States and Canada, right? So we don't want to say that. And this one just basically includes both of these, okay? So we should probably say people in my target location, but again, it's your preference, right? If you're maybe um, advertising a, a tourist attraction and you want to target people that are obviously not from that place, Maybe you'd want to say people searching for my targeted location, right? People are, people that are saying, I'd like a tour of the United States. In that case, you wouldn't want people that are living in the United States. You'd want people that are outside, right? So this is when this may come in handy. But we're going to leave it for this for now. And then here we need to exclude. So people in my excluded location and people in searching for who show interest. So this is uh, for... If we, if we were to choose exclude options, so if we want to say, for example, uh, let's say Russia, and we want to exclude it, then this would um, this would refer to that, right? So exactly the same thing, people in my excluded location or people searching for in that location. So that's going to be the same thing. In this case, it doesn't matter. We're not going to use that. Languages, so... It gives you a little recommendation. It says French because there's a uh, there's a lot of French speakers in Canada, right? Quebec. Uh, it, it it may also have given you Spanish for Spanish in the United States. So you can select what languages you want your ads to be available in. Um, choose that that you'd like your ads to appear. Make sure that you write your ads in the language right. So the ads don't actually translate themselves. So you would need to write the ads in that particular language. Okay, just like it says here, Google AdWords does not translate. Okay, so we're gonna leave it for English for now. We're gonna play it safe. Uh, okay, so bidding strategy. So the way bidding works is, so first of all, let me, let's me let set the budget uh, for the day. So this is how much you're willing to spend for the day. So assume you're gonna lose all that money. Assume you're not gonna make anything. Don't start off wasting hundreds of bucks without even knowing uh, if, if it's going to work or not. Assume you're going to lose everything you will. What amount would you be okay with? So let's say maybe five or 10, right? 10 bucks per day. If you lose all that, if you're unsuccessful, that's okay for you, okay? Or whatever amount you pick, that's kind of what you should start off with while you're testing and experimenting. So let's say 10 bucks for now. Um, let's experiment. So default bid. So what a bid is, is you're basically, um, you're not the only person who will be using keywords. So for example, diabetes loophole. There may be other people that are creating ads just like me and you for diabetes loophole. We're not the only ones. And so how does Google determine whose ads are shown? There are only spaces, there's only about four spaces for ads at the top and then at the bottom of the page and then on the side, right? You can't have a page full of ads. That doesn't look good. People people will get fed up. They're not going to use Google anymore. Google doesn't want that. They don't want all of their pages filled up with only ads. So they need to determine who gets top placement. And this is where bids come in. If I'm saying, if I'm telling Google that I am willing to pay $100 for every click for my ad, then Google will most likely put my ad up if other people bid much lower than me. So if other people bid five bucks and I bid a hundred, then Google will much prefer to put me up at the top, of course, because for every click people click on my ad, they get a hundred bucks. 
much better deal, right? Now, obviously, there's other factors that go into that, such as quality score. We'll get into that later. But basically, the main thing is the bid, all right? So you want to set it as high as possible, but at the same time, you don't want to kill yourself because if you put a bid too much, you may hit your budget with just one click, right? You obviously need to, you want to try to get as many clicks as possible. So let's say default bid, uh, let's say maybe two bucks, and we'll need to do some keyword research and actually see how much each click would cost for us. So uh, what this is, um, manual CPC means that we're going to set our bid ourselves. We are going to determine what amount we want. Enhanced CPC means when we set up conversions, Google will determine which, uh, which keywords or which clicks uh, provided the most conversions and they will increase the bid for us automatically. So we said two bucks, they may make it three bucks if they feel that this would be a click that would generate a conversion and they would increase the, uh, the bid automatically. Okay. So that's manual. You have enhanced cost per click, which is basically, it has nothing to do with conversions. They just increase uh, the cost of the bid for you automatically if they think there's going to be a click. Okay. And then these other ones, I'm not going to get into too much detail. I haven't used them myself, but this one, for example, maximize clicks. This one helps you get as many clicks as possible within your budget. Of course, the quality uh, of those clicks may not be as good, right? Uh, target our sharing set bids to help outrank opposing domain. Yeah, so 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 I don't really use these guys, uh, but I use these two mainly. So let's go with manual CPC for now, and let's again let's make it two bucks. Okay, site links and ad extensions, we're going to get into that in another video. I'm going to go over these really useful things, really helpful. Um, so for now, let's let's leave that blank. Time of day, again, you, you can set the time of day you want it to run. So if you're maybe selling something that requires people to go to the bank, for example, you know, banks are open from whatever time, 10 to 5, 10 to 6, whatever time it is for you. Uh, and, and, and you can just change that around here, right? Uh, ad delivery, we'll get into this when we go into split testing, when we set up many different ads, many different ad groups. Dynamic search ads, uh, that's fine, leave that for now. Uh, this we will also go over when we discuss tracking and how we're going to track our clicks from Google, okay? So let's click save and continue for now. So let's create an ad group name. Uh, let's say ad group name. So this maybe we should do based on the keywords that we've set. So suppose for this one, we only want to, you know, we want to do only only 10 keywords real focused around diabetes, right? So let's say, I don't know, uh, diabetes keywords. Let's let's stick to that for now. Uh, and we create our ad. So we're going to put in our final URL. So here's our diabetes page. Here's our final URL though. put that there headline so we need to put uh, there's two spots for headlines and then a description uh, so let's say something let's say I don't know diabetes loophole only $27 or however much it is right and then headline two uh, let's say get a $20 discount now something like that description let's say do you want to get rid of diabetes forever? Download uh, ebook now. Okay, so something like that doesn't matter. Um, that's a whole nother story where we need to write our, our ads. There's a whole kind of skill to that itself. So we're not going to spend too much time on that. That um, This path is basically just what your ad is going to show. So, you know, if I type in uh, diabetes, that's going to show diabetes, right? That, that has nothing to do with anything. Uh, advanced URL options. So I'll, I'll, I'll briefly touch upon this for now, uh, but I'm going to get into more detail later. Basically, if we have a tracking URL, just put that here so that this will actually track, okay? And again, I'm going to get into more detail later on, but for now, that's that. So let's put in some keywords. That's a diabetes, and we could use the keyword tool. We'll get into that as well. Uh, which basically gives us some ideas, right, about what keywords we should use. So actually, I don't want to get out of that for a 
for now, I, I, I'm just going to write something like um, basic keywords. Find out the use loophole. Use loophole. Find diabetes, cure diabetes, something like that. Okay, we can click on estimated search traffic to see how much we're approximately going to get. So approximately we're going to get 10 clicks a day for about 10 bucks, okay? That's the actual, that's the average bid. So as you can see, there's that many people competing that the average bid is roughly $1.30, right? Uh, so we're going to keep it at that. Again, advanced URL, that's fine. Let's click save. Okay, so there you go. So we've created our ad group. We did not create our ad yet. So we still need to do, but well, we should have, right? I think. Okay, so let's create our first ad. I thought we already did that, I'm not sure. This is the exact same thing we had and for some reason it didn't go through. Well, it's possible because it's still, let me see, I disapproved. There you go, okay. So it, for some reason, filtered automatically into disapproved, and we never said that, so that's fine. So here's our ad, and that's basically it. So now we need to wait. Uh, every single change you make will cause your ads to go for a review, okay? So let's just see how this goes. Uh, that's about it for this video. We've created our first ad. That's basically how we start off with. And in the future videos, we'll be going over all these kind of other, other things as well and how we can use those to optimize our ads. All right. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you've already subscribed. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.